we fix this a little bit. My name is Don Hunter, and I'm Don Miller. This is the day before the 4th of July, and I'm going to do an alphabet workout. So I'm going to really quickly share with you the workout and explain to you what it actually is. So give me a second. Okay, so what you see here, we're going to perform to the words Martha's Vineyard Vineyarders. So what I have done was every letter I have assigned an exercise. And with that exercise, I've assigned a number of reps. And we're just going to walk, go our way through the, the word Martha's Vineyard Vineyarders. You can do that with every single letter of the alphabet. You can create any kind of words, your last name, whatever you want to do. It's a lot of, it's just open to your creativity, your time and equipment available. For today, what we need is a, uh, I'm gonna use a 20 pair of 20 pound dumbbells. I'm outside, so I'm gonna use a mat, but that's entirely up to you. You can do body weight exercises, the whole thing. So here's what we're gonna get going. Uh, to start off with, let's go with a warm up. 20 jumping jacks, and go. Sumos up and out each side. Cowboys out to end. Point stretches. Three times each side, your depth and hold. Gonna to need to play your own music if you'd like to hear music. The only problem with that is you might have a difficult time hearing me give instructions. I'm not gonna actually demonstrate the exercises, you just have to see them as we go. Okay. Uh, let's do 10 forward arm circles. And backwards. Now, inchworm, feet still. Walk your hands out, form five push-ups, walk your feet back, back out, four push -ups. four, three, two, one, five. Stand up, now four push-ups. Last one, gentleman bowels, 10 gentleman bowels. Okay, so what you're gonna see is on some of these exercises we'll be repeating because the letter that's matched up with the exercise is repeated throughout the term Martha's Vineyard Vineyards. 26 letters, so 26 moves. You don't know how fast you go, uh, how much time you take between exercises to recover, determines how long the actual workout is. We're going to go for probably, I think, 25 minutes or so. And then at the end, I've got a nice little tip of the day for you a recipe for a, uh, a post workout shake. Okay? So, are we ready? Okay, first one, M40. Combo jacks. So a combo jack is jump jacks to the side like you normally do, but then come in front. Okay? 40. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh. 
30. And corn. Good. Okay, what we have? A, 30, bent over rows. I'm going to grab my dumbbells. This is what they look like from the side. Here, not back. Here. 30. Ready? Go. We have R has 30 push-ups. You can do the push-ups from your knees. If you're gonna do it from your knees, this is not it. Okay? If you're doing it from your knees, this is the position you want to be in. Okay. Do as many as you can off of your knees. You have to go to your knees for your knees. You take a break, take a break. We're doing 30. And go. for me take a real quick rest and I'll finish up my 10. Okay. Next move we have skaters. I'll get the mat out of the way. This is like power speed skating. One point of contact the entire time. 30. Try to get some space, some distance, 10. It's 20. And 30, okay. So what you want to do on the skaters, your hand touches your toe. So the only thing you should actually touch the ground is the one foot. Okay, so now we have, what do we have? 20 judo push-ups. Off and rock, downward dog. Down and back is one. 20 of these. You only do it one way, do that way. Nothing touches the ground. That's it, I'm gonna take a break. Go through this pretty quickly. Ten more. Show you what a side view looks like. That's fine. Thirty. Thirty? Yep. Thirty more bent over rows. Second A.
That's 20. <sighs> 10 more. Okay. And we're S's. We I don't like these. 20 burpees all the way to the floor. So we have 20 burpees. Go. A little hop. That's 10, I gotta get a towel, hang on. I have 10 more to go. Okay, we're done with the word Martha's. Now we have vineyard, vineyard bridge. And the B, 40 bicycle crunches. Right, left equals two. And an A over here. I don't know if it's a good sign to hear cracking all the time when you move, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. Oops, another one I don't like. Eyes. 20 thrusters. So grab your dumbbells. It's a squat to an overhead press. That's 10. Woo. Give me a break. I got 10 more. You never want to lose form. I say this all the time. You feel yourself losing form, stop, recover, and go. Okay. 
never been a fan of burpees or thrusters, but they're so good for you. Okay, we have in 30 plank jacks. High plank position, your feet go out and in. So out, one, two, three, but 30. So 40, I call them call goblet squats, or just regular squats, your choice. If you have a dumbbell, hold the dumbbell. If not, just do body squats. 40. Toes straight ahead, knees never go ahead of your toes. A little humid out here. That's 20. Lunge jumps. Switching feet in the air. So we have 30. Right left is two. So 30 lunge jumps. Use your arms. Stay tall. 10. Think. Thirty. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Okay, thirty more. Bit over rows. I think we're close to being halfway through. Thirty. Bit over rows. Okay. Thirty more push-ups. So you can see, with the exception of the bent rows and the thrusters, actually, you can get yourself a really good body weight workout. So we have thirty push-ups. Well, at least that's what we're doing today. Fifteen, halfway. Keep going if you can. Get ahead of me and rest. Oh. 
But I did forget to mention in the push ups, you can vary your hand positioning wider, works more chest, closer together, works more triceps. So you can vary your hand position to work different muscle groups. Either way, they're hard. Uh, where are we? So, 20 diamond jacks. So when you jump up into the air, you want to try to bring the soles of your feet together, just like that, to make a diamond. 20. Halfway. This is a good plyometric power explosive move. Forces you to use muscles, fast twitch muscle fibers. So 10 more. My fast twist muscle fibers are getting real slow. Ooh. 40 more goblet squats or air squats. Ten. Twenty. At twenty more. And 20. Okay. 30 more push ups. Love them. So remember, you can stagger, you can even stagger hand position this way. Okay, here, 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 here. Mix and match. You got 30. Don't go a little wider. That's 20. Actually, the wider your hands, a little easier it is. I get confused here. One's just a little push ups. So you yeah, have 20 diamond jack again. 20 jumper jacks, uh, diamond jacks. Then we'll be done with two of the words. And yes, I 
made a mistake. <laughs> I got confused on my words, so we're catching up. Okay. So now we have 12, 11 more moves, vineyarders. B, 40 bicycle abs. Remember, right and left is two. The I, 20, I think we already did this, 20 thrusters. Okay. Got me done, Bill. Okay. If we are repeating more than we should be, I apologize. I may have gotten lost track on my sheet, but we're right now. So, Ten more. Promise you, no more thrusters. This one. Here. Thirty plank jacks. Remember, out and back equals one. Thirty. Forty goblet squats with your dumbbell. I know we already did these, because every time we have an E, we do goblet squats. Okay, keep your knees behind your toes. Belt. I should say not in front of your toes. So side view, I got 20 more. I'm back.
have 30 lunge jumps. Do them in sets if you have to. I will. Wait for me, I got 10 more. big ones coming up. All for the bent over rows. Back to 30 push ups. Once again, your hand placement, your choice. 30. <sighs> I'm going to stagger my hands this time. I'm going to do 15 with my hands in this position, and then 15 switching them. Okay? Fifteen. I'm gonna switch. Ooh. Ooh. Five That's hard. We have one more round of push up later on. So, where are we? All right. D, diamond jumps. So, 20 diamond jumps. I think we've already done these, but oh well. 20. Little bonus. You like me, you're not getting up as high as you used to in this workout. Oh, I lied. I lied about the goblet sauce. <laughs> Ten more. Okay, we have three letters left to go. So we have 40 goblet squats, followed by 30 push ups, followed by 20 burpees. Then we tip of the day test. 40 goblet or air squats.
Three more. Did I say the wind picked up? Died. Twenty. Fifteen, five more. Two more moves. You have thirty, thirty push ups. Whatever hand position you want. We'll mix and match. Start off with close grip while we move it out. Ten, twenty more. Twenty. And last but not least, 20 breaded burpees. Oh boy, you'll probably finish these before me. Ten more. Oh, that don't like it. Boom. Okay. So let me try and pose myself so I can share with you the tip of the day, which is okay, what you see here. So in a blender or shaker. You need to purchase a container of whey protein powder. I personally like vanilla flavor. They come in plain chocolate, even strawberry. But I found that the vanilla flavor goes with 
most anything pretty well. So you take a scoop of the whey protein powder in the blender, spoonful of peanut butter, whatever kind of peanut butter you like, spoonful of ground flaxseed. You can also get this along with the whey protein at any health food store. I think Stop and Shop may even have them. Take a cup of your favorite fruit. I like personally either bananas or blueberries or mixture. A cup of your fruit, mix it in there. A cup of whatever kind of milk you use. I suggest either skim milk, almond milk. Some people like coconut milk. Take a cup of that, put it in the blender. Mix it all together, blend it together, pour it in a glass. You got a great recovery drink. Okay, so I encourage you between the next hour after your workout is a great time to get your recovery drink in. You can also use it as a meal replacement. It has good fats, good calories, good quality calories, uh, good protein source. You can use it as a snack, but it's, all, it's a great, great low calorie, but very healthy type of a drink that you can have um, pre or post workout for that matter. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the alphabet workout. I think at some point in time, I may have screwed up my sheet of paper, lost track. We may have uh, done a couple more moves than what we should have, but eh, it's always better to do more than less. Okay, so everybody stay healthy, stay safe. Happy 4th of July. Talk to you next time. Bye.